Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS. In the last episode, we began looking at the 3DS version of Smash Bros. and we looked at the classic mode and all-star mode of this game. And in today's episode, we're going to be playing a mode that is exclusive to this game. It's called Smash Run. Smash Run, if you want to take any like sort of comparison to this, this is kind of similar to City Trial from Kirby's Air Ride. Now, I'll go over what the details of Smash Run is. You have five minutes to navigate this gigantic maze along with four other opponents, and you have to collect power-ups by defeating enemies that you see on the ground. And you get power-ups for your fighter. In the span of five minutes after you do that, all the all the players will be pitted against each other in a challenge of sorts, and you'll be able to compete to see who wins. So you get these power-ups by taking, uh, destroying these little enemies right here. This is kind of a big reminiscent of the Subspace Emissary from Brawl. But as you guys can see, I'm choosing Lucario right here, and I killed a couple enemies, and I got a couple abilities right here, and then you go ahead and just try to get them as much as you can. Um, this mode is exclusive to the 3DS version, and it does not appear in the Wii U version at all. So, if you're wanting to play something like this, you'll be able to do so if you get the 3DS version. Now, one little thing I have to say this. You can play this with friends, but they have to be locally. So, there, there's no online capability for this mode. You can only do this in um, local competitive. Uh, local uh, 3DS mode, essentially. And now, one thing I have to actually point out here. <laughs> to everybody who thinks that the Kremlings are belong to Rare, well, I kind of proved you guys wrong. There's a Kremling right there. Uh, Kremlings are enemies from the Donkey Kong series that was um, in the Donkey Kong original series. And, well, uh, since Nintendo lost uh, access to Rare, the people thought that the Kremlings were, you know, long gone. Because they thought that they were Rare's, you know, creation. Well, as you guys can see, um, a Kremlin was right there. It was a common enemy in the Donkey Kong Country series. Now, right here, I got, like, a major cluster muck right here. Because there's a bunch of enemies. And there was even an Egg Robo from Son the Sonic 3 game. Um, but uh, I'm picking up it pretty much as much as I can. Uh, you'll be uh, granted, like, status updates from... What the other fighters are doing and if you find these little treasure chests and you open them you'll be able to get more power-ups and such uh that enemy right there is so annoying because it just disappears from the screen and appears and then just slashes you and it's like oh my gosh get away from me i try to get a try to get him away from me um but anyways smash run is actually really difficult to play because in my t in my attempt at playing this i had really a bad time trying to win but when I was recording it, I did fairly well. This enemy was from Majora's Mask, or not Majora's Mask, it's from uh, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> That's actually kind of a big enemy. Um, those things I'm picking up, though, the little trophy stands and stuff like that, you'll be able... Uh, those are like little item capsules that you'll get at the end of the game, essentially. The item capsules actually give you special items that you can get for, like, power up your... give you trophies or equipment and such like that. But if you navigate through this maze, this is a humongous maze, and uh, it's only one map. So, like I said before, it's kind of like City Trial. You kind of have to do this big open area, and you have to go collect power-ups, essentially. Um, but if you die, unfortunately, and if the screen doesn't go with you, you do die. And because of that, you lose a couple bit of your uh, abilities, essentially. You can go through these doors if you get close to it and push up on the control pad. You'll be taken to a challenge right here. It says, like, right here, it says Crystal Smash. I'm supposed to... In the time limit, I'm supposed to smash this crystal. And when I do, power-ups come out. This is a lot easier said than done. This is actually called an event. Now, events happen every now and then. On the, ma on the map, or if you come through these doors. But this is pretty much what an event does. <laughs> I'm trying to smash this thing as much as I can. It's like, eh. If I didn't... If I did not do extreme speed right then and there, I would have been fine. Because, see, look, I just broke it the last second. But I didn't get the reward, unfortunately. And we got gigantic Goombas. We got a bunch of enemies from all the series that is represented in this game. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, the gigantic Goomba. Like I said, you even got a Sonic 
enemy in this. You got a Robo. I'm just sitting here trying to kill all these things. It's like, gosh, kind of give me room to breathe here. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much as uh, upgrades as I can. Ow, 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 ow. But there you go. Now I'm trying to go up as much as I can, and as you guys can see from the bottom screen, I'm getting updates every now and now and then what the other players are doing. But you only get five minutes out of this. I forgot to mention that you only get five minutes to do this. If you, if you, um, any more, you'll the the match will end. So I got this gigantic dark nut right here. This is actually the first time I actually ever saw a dark nut in the game. I was like, oh wow, there's dark nuts here. So I'm gonna try to actually kill that thing. I was like, I'm gonna kill you, dark nut. But unfortunately, time ran out before I could do so. But at the end of Smash Run. If you do complete this, it'll kind of tally up your stats and everything. But these are going to be the stats of your fighter during the challenge that you play now, next. It says the final battle is against uh, pretty much everything. It says high launch smash. So pretty much if you do a smash attack, you'll launch your enemy really far. So now, we actually got to fight all these guys. And, um, it's a, actually a minute smash. It's not like stock battle or anything. It's actually a time battle, so I'm trying to actually launch these guys and smash them. But like I said before, the stats that you accumulate during Smash Run carry over to this final battle. So if you have really high defense, you won't be um, launched when you get smashed. And when you have really high speed, you'll go really fast. And when you have really high attack, you'll be able to launch a lot faster. So I'm just trying to s trying to get these guys and like get off the screen. Let me go ahead and try and kill you. King DDD managed to get a, a score right there, but I'm trying to my best right here because this is actually kind of a bad map to be doing this because all the AIs are actually falling in the water, but that's actually kind of a good thing for me because, well, they lose a they lose a point whenever they get um, into the water and everything. It's like, there you go, Ness, go die. And with that, I thought I lost here, but... I actually won. So I won this round of Smash Run. But that's pretty much what Smash Run is. This is completely um, unique to the 3DS version. Now, I could just end the video here, but I actually go ahead and do another round of Smash Run because I actually started to actually enjoy this mode again. I was like, at first I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to, but then I played it again and I was like, this is actually kind of fun. So we're going to do another round of Smash Run. Because, like I said, it's only five minutes. I don't think you can ch you can change the rules, so. But I'm actually going to be playing as Link, and I'm playing as a custom Link. Uh, this is a Link that actually starts off with abilities and stuff like that. Ready? Like right here, he started off with a baseball bat. So I was able, able to use a baseball bat and stuff like that. Now we got Waddly Dees, Hammer Bros, and we even got Petalil Pokemon. <laughs> Um, this is actually kind of a match that I actually got to see a lot of unique enemies here. We haven't seen Hammer Bros, we haven't seen Bronto Burst, we haven't seen Waddly Dees, and we haven't seen any Pokemon characters. So this was actually kind of interesting. Um, I don't know what, what these guys are from though, the Fireball guys here. But I'm trying to actually kind of like knock one back here. Do that with the baseball bat. But if you're not careful, he'll blow up in your face and you don't want to do that. And then we got these Donkey Kong barrels, and I was like, oh, there's stuff to be had here. I'm going to grab this. But there's actually coughings up here. <laughs> we actually see the coughings here. It's like, oh, look, there's Pokemon. I'm going to actually fight against Pokemon. Knock them off the screen. <laughs> but there we go. We got more Donkey Kong barrels, and I was like, oh, I'm falling down here. But, yeah, I'm using a Link that's actually custom. So he's kind of got a custom moveset. So... Like I said, he started off with a baseball bat, so that kind of gives you a little hint there. Now I got the Psy enemy from, or the, I can't remember what these enemies are called, but they're from Earthbound. These guys. Got them right there. They only stay in one spot, though, so. Actually, that guy got killed because there was a bomb on him that just happened to blow up right then and there. And then we got Gordos. I can't really attack Gordos, so. But, just now, an event activated. Um, there's a gigantic boss enemy that's in the middle of the stage here, and if we beat him, we'll get a bunch of rewards for it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do that. And now the indicator shows you where the boss is, and you'll go follow it. Obviously, you'll be able to fight the thing. But you only have a couple of uh, 
a limited amount of time. The gigantic boss enemy is down here, and honestly, I'd really advise being careful when you fight in this thing, because look, he is just launching me like a mofo. I'm just trying my best trying to not die, and this thing is just really, really powerful. I was like, oh, jeez. I'm already, like, ranking up 170 some odd damage. I was like, damn. And, unfortunately, it launched me and it killed me. And now I have to go back and try to get it. But now I lost my my bat, so I can't really use my bat anymore. I was just like, oh, trying to get this thing. Because this is actually an event that happened. And I was managed to actually get an event to happen. But, um, it didn't happen the last match, and I kind of wanted to show this one. That's why I kept this one in whenever I recorded this. So, ow, ow. See, it just, it gets so annoying. And I was trying to kill this guy and it's just, couldn't get managed to actually hit him because he keeps smashing me around. Even dodging didn't do anything. Unfortunately, I died twice to him, but the timer ran out, unfortunately, so he left. So we couldn't even, couldn't even finish that event, unfortunately. But I kind of wanted to show what an event was that happened in Smash Run. But there we go. He beating up Goombas and stuff like that. <laughs> so we're continuing our triumph here. We got more uh, treasure chests here, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get as much as we can. Now, we got more enemies here. The disappearing enemy right here it keeps getting annoying. I was like, go away! Some of these enemies are so annoying. <laughs> but, like I said before, this is kind of a reminiscence to uh, Subspace Emissary if you played Brawl. Um, Subspace Emissary was essentially the adventure mode to, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and it had a bunch of these enemies that you had to fight. You had, and you had to fight them exactly like this. So, it's kind of like that in, um, the classic mode when you had to actually fight against the, the Master Fortress. Now, sometimes whenever you go on these platforms, it'll go high into the sky and you have to kill all these things, and there's this gigantic, like, crab enemy, I was trying to kill him, and he launched me off the platform. I was like, oh, God, Lord, I can't. There's no way I'm going to get back. So I was like, eh, I guess I'm following all the way down. <laughs> but alas, I just continue going on, going on my merry way with this. And I'm just tip, trying to attack the hammer bro. Trying to get as much um, upgrades as I could. Continue my onslaught and getting upgrades and stuff like that. <laughs> Defense, speed, jump, and then pedal will put me to sleep. I was like, gosh darn it. We go ahead and attack these guys and get rid of everything here. I don't know how much time I have left. Actually, the timer should be around here somewhere. I can't really see it on my screen. Actually, it's right there on the top right corner. I'm sorry. I only had a five seconds left at this point. I was like, ah, don't kill me, please. And I just killed the enemy and I couldn't grab my stuff, unfortunately. But, this is the stats that after this round of Smash Run, I actually got a bunch of arm upgrade and I got a bunch of jump upgrade. So now the final battle is against versus enemy team. You have to defeat as many as you can before the time runs out. So this is different. Ready, so, go. this is the stage I was talking about, the Kirby stage that was exclusive to the 3DS mode. We have to kill as many Waddle Ds as we can. <laughs> Unfortunately, we gotta kill poor Wally D. Wally D is so adorable, and I hate doing this to him. But I'm, you have to kill as many as you can before the time runs out. And whoever has the most wins this run round of Smash Mode. So we got a bunch of these pearls, par, uh, parasol Wally Ds, and now Wally Ds are starting to spawn here. I'm trying to kill as many as I can, launch them off the screen. Do this, and then Waddle Dees are starting to use their beam attacks. Eh. Ow, ow, ow. And there you go, he fell down. <laughs> so now we got Bronto Burts and more Waddle Dees falling down here. So it's kind of getting a little bit more hectic. And I was like, eh. Only a couple more seconds left. And I attacked that Waddle D the last second. I don't think that killed him, unfortunately. I had 41. But I was trying to see who won. And unfortunately, I did not win. Marth beat me. But I came in second. I was close. I was very close. <laughs> so, for that, that, that Smash Run round, I did not win, unfortunately. But that's pretty much Smash Run in a nutshell. I kind of wanted to show off this mode. 
Now there is actually one more mode I kind of wanted to. Sh actually, we got we got a challenge here. We got a level two horizon beam or something like that. It says play Smash Run five times. Now the challenge boards are different in the 3DS version than they are in the regular version. You actually get panels. You get like three or four panels of these to do. But it's completely different than the Wii U version. But now. There is actually one more mode I wanted to show off before I end this episode. It's just a little minor thing. If you come down here to Street Pass, there's a little Wi-Fi symbol right here. And you get to play a little mini game with Street Pass. This is only in the 3DS version. We're going to go ahead and play the Street Pass game here. Um, unfortunately, Street Smash, you can't, you can't really play unless you have Street Pass on. So, it's a little... Uh, tabletop game where you had to practically push your opponents off the table. It, you charge up with A and you go and smash and you kind of like smash your opponent off the screen. If an opponent goes off screen that you get a point. You can move around with the, the, the circle pad, you could attack with A, If you, you, you could hold A and get a big strong attack. If you want to put up your shield you push R and if you want to dodge you push R and put the control stick. If you dodge and then push A right at the time at the right time, you'll do a devastating counterattack, which will knock the opponent off the board. So practically, unfortunately, I don't have Street Pass on because, well, there's no point for Street Pass to be on because I live by myself with it. So I'm going to be doing a practice round with it to kind of show you how to play Street Pass or Street Smash, I should say. So pretty much, you just I chose like 10 opponents to fight. Ready? So now I'm gonna go ahead and try playing Smash Run here. So you just practically just go ahead and just uh, smash your opponents off the edge right here, and you keep pushing A to kind of just knock them back. It's kind of pretty much a King of the Hill type of game where you just practically just knock off everybody. But you can actually dodge with the um, R the right trigger. And then if you push the control stick, you can do a dodge move. And if you push A at the right time whenever you dodge, you'll be able to use um, a devastating counterattack. And with that, we actually won. I actually won this round of Street Smash. But I'm not going to play it again. I just wanted to show it off. But that's pretty much Street Smash. And this mode is exclusive to the 3DS version with Street Pass. So that's another reason why I showed this off. So anyways, in the next episode of Let's Play Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS... It will be the finale of the playthrough. I will be showing off one last round of good old-fashioned smash. So with that, I will see you guys in the next episode.